Yo dogs, what's happening? TJ from the shop in Vancouver. I don't think we're ready for this one. The WJ03. The Oil Soft Horse Western shirt, combination with the Light Horse T-Core, embossed, magic. <sighs> wow. Okay. This is part of their new Western line from Y2. This thing is absolutely insane. It's a horse hide, but the horse, it's the oiled soft horse, which is, it's, it's just so much different than I expected. I don't know why I read this shirt as being the one millimeter veg tan T core. So I was expecting basically our Western shirt that we did just button up with the embossed shoulders, yokes, cuffs, all that sort of stuff. But what showed up is this insanely soft horse hide that just almost feels like a, it almost feels, it doesn't really feel like the Fine Creek, the sheepskin. When it's on, it's just so much lighter than I expected, which just, God, I, I, I'm, I'm legitimately getting flustered here trying to talk about this thing. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. I'm just gonna go into a little bit. So the collar, the yokes, the flaps, the buttons, the cuffs, those are all embossed one millimeter veg tan T-core horse hide. Sitting on top of this oiled lightweight horse hide that isn't T-Core, not T-Core. The body isn't T-Core, but the flaps, the yoke, the collar, this and the cuffs, those are all T-Core. Which means over time, you're gonna get patinaing on these shoulders where the edges of the embossed section are gonna lighten up. You're gonna see that brown T-Core come through. So the evolution of this shirt is gonna be absolutely insane. I think one thing to really note is that because this is the oiled soft horse hide, it's gonna wear more like a shirt, where a lot of our Western shirts are kinda of more shackety, like jacket, shirt-ish. This guy really is like a fancy, fancy-ass Western shirt. One thing that makes this thing really light too is that it has this linen cotton blend lining rather than the nylon lining that our SK13, like our Henry, our Tom, and our Pablo have. So it, it wears even lighter than our light horse does. But, fuck, I, I'm at a loss. I'm, I'm completely at a loss for words with this thing. It showed up and it went so far past my expectations that my brain melted basically. So sizing on these guys, I wear a size 42 in these. Uh, the Western shirts from Y2 fit a little bit small. Normally I'm a size 40. I'm a medium North American t-shirt. I wear large Ironheart UHF shirts. I measure pretty true 40, 39.5, 40 around my chest. I'm a little bit narrower, but I wear size 40 jackets, but I wear a size 42 in the Western shirts. Most people have sized up one size. If you're a really broad guy, you might wanna go up two sizes, but about one size small, go up to a size 42 if you're 40, uh, 44 if you're 42, you, you understand. These are available on the shopvancouver.com. I don't really know what to say about them other than they are really, really gorgeous. Um, very excited about it. I can't wait to see people wear the fuck out of these and see that T-core come through the shoulders, see it come through the, through the cuff and the collars and, oh man, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> that was the worst review ever. Bye. It's not a review, it's an introduction. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs>